Oh, all right, what's up? Keep us back in the video. And today we have episode four of the. Um, <laughs> I forgot it again. Uh, making a new strategy of every tower series. So uh, yeah, fun stuff. Already on episode four. Today's episode is the boomerang monkey. Um, what we're gonna do, boom? I think we're actually gonna do. This is not a free power up strat. This is a spire strat. But we're gonna count it. Um, uh, we're not gonna do it with uh, Rob to Gold Devil. We'll do it with Copy Eco. We'll do it with this, and might even just put this in. Or I could use. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put this in. So I'm not gonna play the passive powers because we've got Boomer, and we know how we could just exploit the Boomer to um, our advantage. You think Engineer? Okay, so we have a very weird first one. <laughs> so, the first one we're both going to be um, <laughs> using weird strats for this map. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're not going to be ecoing. Um, I know I don't really like. I don't like. I don't like whenever people use um, eco choke and copy eco together because it just kind of defeats the purpose of draining them but uh, essentially all we want is them to be slowing down a little bit and um, that's what Eco Choke is going to do. He's got Jolly Eco Boost so that kind of sucks because we yeah, have got Copy Eco but uh, it's fine and it also just means we can keep Cobra Farming on as well, the Copy Eco does so uh, and if he sends us stuff to stop us just Cobra Farming on then he's done like, his own farms down and that is the overall goal so um, yeah, it's still not great, but um, there we go, we are forcing stuff out of him anyways. Go for this, and I might just tank these lives, to be honest. No, I'm going to get this down. I changed my mind. Semi, or semi tank these lives. Give him the thumbs up. Uh, get Glaive Thrower down. And nice, cool. So he's lost a lot of lives there, but I don't think he's going to be playing very aggressively, judging by his dual eco boost. And we've gotten six Cobra farms down already, and this slowed his farms down a little bit. And uh, we can probably get a copy eco off. Yeah, yeah, get some eco in. And we can space eco some blacks in, just to force a bit more defense. And then to be fair, you know, 320 eco and all of these cobra farms, not looking too bad anymore. This should force some defense. Like, there's a lot of sentries down on his side, but it should still force defense. It has to. There's no way it doesn't. Yeah, there we go. He's skidding more defense up already. And we've not even sent that much space eco, so if he's in a big yellow rush, we can still copy it. But uh, yeah, that will stop there. He's got two of the uh, blue hat sentries down, so uh, we'll uh, respect that. And it's not doing anything else. So uh, the main thing you got to think about, I guess, with this strategy is camo leads. Normally, inspire when you're using this, you can just get up loads of <laughs> um, defense down. Uh, loads. Uh, you already have uh, like turbo charges and uh, glaive lords up. Well, you should have a, have a glaive of like round. Eight to around eight ish, you'll probably have a glaive load up, whereas, uh, which is like four rounds earlier than you can send a camo lid. Whereas in this, uh, obviously, that's not the case. Uh, we we'll send him a lid. And we'll let that be that. So we should probably just go for defense now. So, of course, the main weakness of this strategy is going to be the camo balloons. So we are going to go for this. And uh, maybe this should be slightly higher up for our flash bomb, but ah, we're fine. <laughs> we can handle it. <laughs> uh, he's not sent us any camo leads yet, so we're not going to go for camo lead. Oh my god, he's. Oh, I should have gone for turbo charge. What am I doing? I can't do anything. I can't do anything. Yeah, I should have gone for turbo charge. I think I might get turbo charged there. So retarded. Okay, so we get self freeze. Stuff happens. <laughs> we had a passive power there, would have been fine. 
Right, will we try again with this? Uh, I guess I might actually use, just maybe mix it up a little bit instead of trying to go for the fun there. Uh, and we got this guy again from the other video. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess, yeah, I kind of forgot how bad the camo defense is. Ooh, perfect, Matt. Uh, yeah, so we'll probably go for either lightning or lots of glue. I think this guy was a quick shot TTS last time, wasn't he? So uh, we'll go for this with this, this, and this now. It was aggro. I think this will be pretty strong. But uh, yeah, now soul freeze. I don't know why I went for flash bomb. Yeah, I don't know. Just turbo charging would have been fine. But ah, um, uh, what can you do? Uh, we'll go for this. Eco choking. And I think I want this down like here. Yeah. That'll do nicely. We'll go for this. And now we'll go for our. He's not going to force glaive, so we can actually just. I mean, maybe we should have waited a little bit longer to try and make him send us a little bit more. But uh, this is fine. Get these two up. And we'll force the next upgrade of pinks. Oh, on his side. And just Cobra farm on for now, spamming the Cobras. I think four pigs should do it. It's a decent spot. I don't think less will be enough. And we'll see his defense. Maybe he doesn't get it in time because of the eco chokes. And then one more in. Got a couple leaks off. He should have it now. There we go. Good for him. Could have eco choked him then, but oh well, we didn't. Eco choke him, we don't need to really do anything here now. Um, is he going to keep sending? He's going to ruin his farms to keep sending. Mad. <laughs> Funny. Get another one of those. No more defense needed of the neck leave. Thrower, he's gonna send us in more balloons, which is fantastic. We absolutely love balloons getting sent to us with this strip. And go for this. We'll leak some lives, it's not ideal. Okay, we'll leak a few more than it's ideal. <laughs> but what can you do? We just tank those. Uh, we could have got Ricochet up. I didn't think that would push as much as it did, but then he did rush us quite aggressively there, so... I guess that was uh, a bit more aggressive than I expected, but we have passive powers and we've got Boomer, so... We should hopefully be okay still. Let's see if he sends us yellows. If he sends us yellows, we'll just Ricochet to defend, and then... We will, um... Yeah, let that be that. He's gonna send us yellows. Ricochet up, he's gonna quick shot, he's gonna get eaten by the Cobras. Get this up. Cool. Copy his eco, loads of eco there, well. So we'll do this. He's only got one TTS left now as well, that was why that was such a big mistake. Uh, go for this. Straight away. He goes for that. We can throw this in. You can actually just rush him kind of hard here, to be honest. Probably an oversend there actually, because we do need to now sell stuff to... Yeah, we couldn't really rush him there hard there, but yeah, I really don't care. He's only got one quick shot left and we have Acid, so if he does it round 13, he actually can't afford to rush us round 13, because otherwise he does just kind of lose. Should see some camo leads though, yeah. Okay. Fine, yeah, we're fine. Cool, he's out of TTSs now, so we kind of just win. Yeah, there we go, nice. <sighs> yeah, that acid was kind of big. It's, it's not a very good strength for power ups, Jesus. I thought it'd be slightly better than it's doing so far, but uh, you know, what can you do? Uh, I'll do one more game with it and uh, wrap up with today's video, I guess. But uh, yeah, yeah, not the greatest strength. <laughs> Uh, you definitely need to, if we can get like a, we've not had really too many passive players in this series, it's just fully because there's a chess growing going on this week, but uh, 
we get one of those passive players that you know we we find literally 98 percent of the time when we're grinding uh, and then we could, <laughs> we could do some different stuff <laughs> we could try this slightly more aggressively yeah literally before this week okay we found the same guy again i guess that's not happening <laughs> Uh, water hazard, we can do it. Do you want to? He's gonna skip it. Fez. Ink block, a little bit too short. And park. Yeah, we can done park. Uh, yeah, let's go. See if he changes up to uh, quick shot power lock or something now, maybe. <laughs> and yeah. Anyhow, let's get. Cobra down, smile, kill. Um, maybe we could have changed the eco power up because he knows it's um, copy eco. He might react a little bit differently now he knows. Um, but uh, yes, we'll just have to see. Get a Cobra here for pinks later on. And it's not being anti-stored hard enough so that this doesn't get off, so we can get this. Oh, only just though. He is going to super eco boost straight away, okay. And a glow thrower up. He gets his farm down. Now eco choke him. Standard, standard, standard stuff. And he'll send him five sets of pinks because he's been farming quite hard. He's going to send us blues again, okay, so he's not learned anything from last time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Another sit in. Another one. He should get this thing now. I don't think it's that late yet. Good. We still got quite a few lives from him though, which is nice in case it goes later and we just want to uh, be really aggressive. He used his, both his Super Eco Boost straight away already. Or his first two already. So we're going to just do an early. Eco boot, uh, in copy eco, sorry. And yeah, I don't want this to push as far this time. Last time was a little bit too far for my liking. Hey, you know, one of these. And this should defend perfectly. Yep, yeah, okay, looks like he's learned a little bit. He's not going to quick shot into Cobras. Well done, I guess. <laughs> we'll just keep doing this for a little bit I feel like he's going to send us yellows on round 8 we can just copy that and counter yellows and he's going to be um, yeah, not having a very fun time to that uh, but yeah, just see what he does he gets his boomer down go for his cobra upgrade does he send us the yellows He's sending us a white sand here, the yellows. Let's get this ricochet down. He stops, we can copy 500 eco wowzers. Go for this and this, and rebuy this down here. Can send us more yellows. Oh, I went too early. My bad. Can send this in. Oh, he's gonna have to sell that farm or that. Yeah. And now we can send this and this. Nice, very cool. Uh, good start to the game. So uh, yeah, so this map is two different sides. So um, it's gonna be even easier to place the acid down when he hits quick shot on this one, which is fun. Uh, I can probably change the hand to this so it's better for the AI. And let's get this flash bomb out. We're basically just preparing for his rush now. He's already gotten that. Nothing in my mouth. What is that? How was there a hair in my mouth? I don't even know. Anyways, <laughs> get this down. It's gonna quick shot, so we can actually just acid straight away. Wow, he kept rushing into it. Anyways, I think he missed the acid. Probably acid lag. Uh, anyway, so he just lost loads of money there. We could maybe put the acid a little bit higher up. We know it's quick shot TTS again now though, which is fun. Uh, he's going to get rid of it. He didn't even need to send camos. If we put it higher up, then we could have forced him to send a little bit more to get rid of it, but uh, it is what it is. 
That shouldn't do anything. Like, there's no way he TTSs that, and if he does, I just acid it. And we'd be fine to that anyways. Gonna get this down. If he quick shots just normally again, we can just acid about here, and that'll be fine. He shouldn't send us anything now, though. Uh, see, we're in a really good spot. There's nothing he can really do here anymore. Uh, his time where he could punish us with rushes is kind of gone because we could block it off with the acids. And we could adjust him now just for fun. <laughs> yeah, we're just adjusting for fun. This is not what you're meant to do. <laughs> but you can just send an early BFB and then he's screwed. But uh, just for fun, let's adjust him. So we've already won the game. We can just adjust. If he attacks us, we can just sell and stuff. Uh, but <laughs> we're just going to adjust him off for fun. Uh, if we lose, it's just us being silly <laughs> at this point. So, yeah. Good fun, good fun. Let's get another adjustment down. Uh, just going to get this. Just pre-place this, I guess, here. Yeah, fine. And... You can Sabo. He's going to TTS into a Sabo. And that is down already. Ooh, I saw that moving quite far, so I got a turbo charge. Okay, screw him, he's... <laughs> he's out of TTSs now. We have, like, yeah. No way of losing this now. <laughs> they keep turbo charging as well, that's quite funny. We can literally just turbo charge this. Don't need to even acid. Nice, yeah, too easy. <laughs> How long has this been? 17 minutes, yeah, yeah, a little bit shorter than some of the other ones. Oh, I forgot to say good game, my bad. Good game to uh, our friend who has uh, been on our um, episodes quite a bit so far. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's go wrap up that strategy. Definitely just not great. Yeah, you can't do it triple aggro versus Anything that could be a group, but uh, yeah, a little bit of fun. It's the Spire strat, but uh, I'm just about going to count as a new strat because you not this not been seen before in free power-ups. And that style of playing is, it's a Cobra style, which obviously has been before. We're going to do styles of play that have been done before, but it's impossible to make a totally new style. I'm going to do pass, we're going to do aggro. <laughs> I'm going to do control with the control of Cobra. Uh, but doing of those towers, uh, I guess a little bit different. Anyways... This is the global leaderboard. This is the other leaderboard. It's going to be similar to the last episode. I'm guessing all of these are going to be quite similar. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a nice rest of your day. And uh, yeah, see ya.